So if you're seeing this video right now and you're here before Hurricane Dorian, they got canned food left, they got raviolis, they got tropical fruit, they got pudding. On to the next. So, um, back on the water adventure, we have called around to literally six different stores, three different Walmarts, um, a couple Walgreens, I tried Office Max because I'm passing it calling just anybody that I can think of called Target they have a few cases left Publix would not hold anything for me even though I told them I was only about 10 minutes away Target said that they have a few cases left and they're doing a two case per customer um, limit so I asked if there was any way we could do drive up like pay over the phone because Malia has autism and after the three stores we went in with people just mobbing for supplies She's just not doing well and that our two-year-old also fell asleep and she said while they're absolutely not allowing drive up that she was making an exception so that Malia wouldn't have to be super stressed. So we're at the drive up. I don't know if you can see the sign at Target. So I just wanted to give a huge shout out to Target. They're actually bringing a tablet out to, uh, to let me, you know, cash out and everything. So we're going to have water and we don't have to stress out the kids for it. Awesome. Thank you, Target. So this is a first time experience at Sam's Club. Oh, there are no shopping carts at all. So anyway, we're at Sam's Club right now and everybody's buying the entire store. And Malia's doing really good. It's, it's been kind of a rough day because uh, it's just been crazy. Like the lines here are pretty intense, but you can't. We're gonna figure this out here. They probably have nothing left. Dorian on the way here. There's surprisingly still a lot of canned goods left. Um, I mean, all the corn's gone there, and that corn's like a 100 ounce can, but um, surprising there's some stuff left here. A lot of peanut butter and jelly is gone, because of course, that can survive without refrigeration. They got tropical fruit, they got pudding, they got an Isaac, they got an Aubrey, they got pears. Still a lot of canned goods here. I don't know if you want to eat cold soup, it's up to you. Well, like, there'd be like noodles with chicken, it'd be like a pasta salad. I'm saying it has a break from all the... Yeah, it might be good. So far, this is what we've stocked up on. Fruit, raviolis, and more raviolis, and chunky soup. So we usually get our bread from Aldi's, but we were gonna get it here, because we don't want to buy it in bulk, so we don't get it from here, but looks like we're kind of out of luck here with the bread department. Well, we could survive off. Aubrey wants to know if we should get Thomas English muffins. English muffins. English muffins, two packs. You like those? Yeah. Do you love them? Yeah. Do you want to eat 24 of them? Sure. He does. <laughs> Dude, what are you doing? Is No, we Put don't want those. <laughs> okay, do your victory dance. <laughs> can you not put it in the trash can? Well, there's one original All right, left. So our pile's stacking up here. So if the hurricane doesn't come, we're going to be living off raviolis, chunky soup, and pudding for a long time. <laughs> I mean, they're pretty good because you don't have many options here, right? Like, I really like this one right here, though. Yeah, that looks good, delicious. It looks really fresh. Low calorie. <laughs> it's uh, low on carbs. Zero carbs, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to keep this for okay. Where are my favorite muffins? Ooh, they're right there. Hide the shelf. Where? Why are you trying to convince me? Look! Chocolate and... Wow, jackpot! Wow. Look at this! Even blueberry. Oh my god! Chocolate! You know what you're doing, dude. That's exactly what I would do. Way to go! <laughs> so obviously chips do make a good hurricane party food. And Isaac loves empty pellets. But yeah, for the most part... The big towers of chips have been reduced to almost nothing. Obviously, people don't like those type, but hey. This is a favorite. What is it? It's Halloween. Three Halloween cereals for six bucks. They're only wow. $2 a piece. That's really good. You better get the whole pallet. We have to get. Where are you going? Where are you going? So, as we're stacking up here, stocking up everything. 
They've got honey nut Cheerios here. Two boxes, a huge for four fifty eight. And she can eat. Now that's a falling it? price you'd have to watch out for. This is a good snack. Uh, but it's actually not too bad in here. We're stocking up here, and uh, so far so good. We're able to get a lot of stuff, which is surprising. Malia, high five. Thank you. So excited, he found baby shark. <laughs> the Mommy shark, bum 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 bum. bum. Baby shark. Where are you going? Nah, I don't like What? Come back. <laughs> oh no. We're out of water. Period. See, look. Ooh, there's no water. We're out. It's all gone. So, who needs water? when they have Baja Blast and Kool-Aid and Hint. Back here now, get back here. Why are you going? <laughs> Hi, can I get We're having a very fancy dinner at Sam's Club. $8.54 with tax. And look at these huge drinks they give you. Like that's amazing, isn't it, dude? Malia, you're gonna get an all beef hot dog. Do you like those? Do you like those? Huh? I think you're happy. I think you're happy. Are you happy? Today is Friday. Uh, we are three days out from a major hurricane making landfall here in Florida. And already we're actually dealing with rain and wind. And, uh, and I can't believe that because the storm's so far away. And today I'm traveling, um, so it's going to be interesting as these bands come on shore as I'm on the interstate. Alright guys, so I'm on one of our long bridges here in Jacksonville. And it's um, coming down pretty hard already. And it's just so amazing because the storm, the hurricane is so far away. But... I mean, look at our weather already three days out, so I'm sure we're in for so much rain we can't imagine. It's really interesting how quick these bands roll in from the hurricane. I mean, these are outer, outer, outer bands, but like just a moment ago, you saw at the beginning of this bridge, it was really dark and raining. Now look up at the sky. And that's the way it's going to be. It's going to go from like feeling like you're in a tropical storm to sunny again and then back to feeling like you're in a tropical storm and that's what makes interstate travel kind of really dangerous you got to be prepared for it so right now I'm on interstate 95 it runs the entire east coast of Florida and if you can see up above here on the camera in the horizon there on the left the entire road looks like it's kind of shut down just because these minor rain bands that that are passing through it causes accidents everywhere and this is how, how it looks so when these really serious hurricane bands finally start moving in in a few days it's only going to get worse so if you see here it's sunny right where i'm at but up ahead it looks like a tropical storm and in florida when it rains people tend to crash into each other it's like i guess driving on ice and snow uh nobody can seem to really drive well in the rain here and so we have a, looks like a major accident coming up on, uh, on the left here. This so as I was saying, I'm about 10 miles down the road and the traffic is still gridlocked and uh, this is a sometimes a typical day in Florida however there's going to be more of this because the the hurricane bands that are coming off the Atlantic Ocean and they move really fast and like once again it's sunny but a minute up the road it could be a low visibility heavy downpour with wind so um, hopefully you know everything works out and people are safe and slow down.